So first off, what is a virtual environment? A virtual environment is pretty much a box that we can store modules and packages in. Using a virtual environment will allow us to dictate exactly the behavior that we want from our application. To begin, I just have an empty folder that I've created. Next, you're going to need a terminal. I've opened up one here. Make sure that you're CD'd into the folder that you want to create the virtual environment in. You can do this by typing in pip3 install virtual environment. I already have this downloaded, so that's why it says requirement already satisfied. But if you don't, it'll download it for you and install it. Next, to create a virtual environment, you're going to type in python3 m virtual env and then whatever you want to name your environment. By default, most people name theirs env, but you can name this whatever. Go ahead and run this command in your terminal. It'll take a few seconds to set up, but not very long. Once it is installed, you can verify it by opening up the env folder that is now under the folder that you were cd'd into before. At this step, we've only created the virtual environment. We haven't activated it. So to activate it, we need to type in source, the environment name, and then bin, and then activate. We can tell that the environment is activated because env now appears over here in parentheses. At this point, whatever packages and modules that we install will be stored in this environment. For example, say we want to install NumPy. We would type in pip3 install NumPy. Then we'll run this command through the terminal and we'll collect NumPy. After a few seconds, we've successfully installed NumPy. At this point, what I like to do is I like to create a new file within my directory. And I like to call this virtual environment modules.txt. So here, I'll put the virtual environment name. We called ours env. And then all the modules and packages that we're going to install. So, so far we've only installed NumPy. We'd list that here, that way we know that we already had this installed. I would use this as a running list of all the modules and packages that you plan on installing and list them here whenever you install them. So let's save this file and now say we want to exit the virtual environment. To deactivate the virtual environment, all we have to do is type in deactivate. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.